try to be brief. The sister mentioned something about death, and I know that that word makes a lot of people uncomfortable, especially recently since I've been talking to people, I've been bringing that word out a lot, and some people have been shying back from that word and don't want to associate with that. I understand that because it's the ultimate challenge of mankind is to face that destiny which he cannot escape. But you must understand that when I speak about death, I'm only saying that so that you will take life serious. Because we usually do not take life serious until we first think about that grave. And I constantly think about it all the time. Number two, you have to remember that life is a struggle. It began with the struggle between the sperm and the egg. You competed with millions of other sperm cells like you. So you sitting here today, you are one in millions. Not one in a million, but one in millions. You struggle to be brought into this realm of existence, but you must also understand that now that you're here, you must continue to struggle and continue to struggle and meet your ultimate destiny. Right. I was talking to a brother yesterday and we came up with a, um, a phrase called the Black Liberation Welfare System. And why do I say the Black Liberation Welfare System? Because we, and I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings, okay, but some of us as a people who are not really willing to put in the work still want to lay back and get the benefits of the black liberation struggle. It's like welfare, you know. I don't want to go to work, but I want to check. We want to benefit from the black liberation struggle, but we're afraid to put in work. So I kind of made a definition for it, okay? For those, uh, it's for those who want to receive benefits of the black liberation struggle, but do not want to put in work. Now I'm saying that, why? Because we use this term, put in work, <clears throat> when I was growing up, California, uh, I was a member of an organization that put in work, basically. Your brother told me, he asked me, what was the most prominent black movement that you were ever a part of? And I told him the L.A. Crips. L.A. Crips. Why? Why do I say that? Why do I say that's the most prominent black movement? Sounds crazy, right? The L.A. Crips provided for me tribal warfare experience. It provided for me war training. It provided for me discipline. When all that backbiting and rhetoric that goes on in other organizations, right. because we stopped it immediately. We violated. You talk about somebody, you bring that person to their face, you say it to their face. If you can't say it to their face, you get violated. Go ahead. Go ahead. Educate. Also, I was involved in direct police confrontation. That's my upbringing. We learned how to bust guns. And we learned how to get busted at. We learned how to bust heads. And we got our heads busted. We learned how to survive in penitentiary in the most inhumane conditions. And where we were forced into basically hand-to-hand -hand combat. And you couldn't run. And you were surrounded by the enemy. You couldn't get a gun. But you were dealing with the pig who had a gun. That's why I said you got to recognize that. Not all prominent black movements are bourgeois, Negro movements, excuse my expression, don't mean to offend anybody. But some of those prominent black movements are right out there in the street, not getting recognition. The ones that they label the cocaine dealers and black on black crime, you better really look at that. Really look into those nations before you criticize those nations. Do we really want the young men to put the guns down? No, sir. Teach. No, sir. Don't turn them in for $100. Okay. Yesterday the media was approaching me quite often asking, what's your name? He said, this one, write your name, now write your name. I said, 0. 0.7, that's an alias I said I would use eventually, it's 0. 0.7. Why do I use 0. 0.7? Who knows 0. 0.7? I lie. Who knows 0. 0.7? Black Panthers. The what? No Panthers, no point seven. We want an immediate end to police harassment, brutality, and murder of black people. Give this on tape, all right? Say it loud. We want an immediate end to police harassment, brutality, and murder of black people. We want an end to black on black violence, snitching, cooperation, and collaboration with the oppressors. All right, all right. Also notice it says that we want to establish a black militaries and black militias. And we believe Is that correct? Yes. Okay. One of the things that drew me to the Black Panther Party, I'm gonna tell you. And, and I'm gonna tell you like this. A lot of people they say, well, what drew you to what? What brought you here? And I'll say one thing and then I tell somebody something else, and I tell somebody something else. 
That's because I'm the type, it's not one thing that ever draws me to anything. I usually think about many different things before I make a decision on anything. So I may tell you this brought me to the Panther Party. I may tell you that brought me to the Panther Party. Whatever is relevant for that time, I'm going to tell you that's what brought me. But believe me that I've sat up and I've thought about all of these things. One of the things that brought me to the Black Panther Party was the uh, Million Youth March in uh, 1998. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that was .7 in effect. Direct police confrontation. Drove them back. I love it. It's the way it's supposed to be. You ever heard that term, the white man has a guy in complex? Oh, yeah. Anybody ever heard that last point? Oh, yeah. It says the white man has erected an image as that of God, and he bids you to idolatry. The prophet Abraham, alayhi salam, he broke idols erected uh, by heathen. That was his mission. That's what he did. They threatened to put him in the fire and all this. But he busted up the idols of the heathens that ruled in his society. Now understand, we say the white man has a God complex. This is an idol that's been lifted up in the society. Jesus, alayhi salam, said that he was a follower of Abraham. And he confronted the apostasy of the Jews. I'm going to be brief. Okay, I know for time's sake. The Jewish controlled white man is constantly putting out threats of a God-like judgment from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. on television, on the airwaves, uh, the images of judgment and the illusionary supreme authority, so-called supreme authority, of the Jew judicial system bombards your home in this way. I made a list. 8.30, Judge Hatchet. 9 a.m., Judge Joe Brown. Judge Mathis. L.A. Law. Trial coverage. NYPD Blue. 9.30, Judge Judy. 10 a.m., People's Court, Divorce Court, Curtis Court, 10.30, Divorce Court, Judge Hatchet, Judge Mills Lane, 11 o'clock, Judge Joe Brown, People's Court, Curtis Court, oh, yeah. Power of Attorney, we ain't three yet. Run it off. Run it off. <laughs> 11.30, Judge Joe Brown, Curtis Court, Power of Attorney, oh, yeah. Sex Wars, 12 o'clock, Judge Joe Hat Hatchet, Jerry Springer, Night Court and Curtis Court, 12.30. Arrest and trial, 12.30. <clears throat> Judge Mills Lane, 12.30. 1 p.m., Judge Mathis. 2 p.m., Power of Attorney, Curtis Court, Morrow Court. 2.30, Curtis Court, Power of Attorney. 3 p.m., Jerry Springer, L.A. Law. Go check the TV guy. And I'm not talking about in different cities around, I'm talking about right here in D.C. It's all over the country, bro. <laughs> now, you have to ask yourself, why are you looking at so much court TV? And why is it in the time frame when most men should be at work? Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. How many times have you seen black people get beat down and executed by the Antichrist regime on shows like Cops and LAPD? I saw a show last night. And it was a video show, it was funny videos, and it was cops, but it was cops with a laugh track. In other words, they went and they executed the brother, boom, 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 killed him in the car, and they laughed, and they tell the guy, tell about the guy, what an idiot, taking hostages and stuff like that. See, the reason I bring these out is to wake you up. You got to know what time it is. The Jews put a lot of effort into making people now laugh at your death situation. See, before it was right. exciting, bad boys, uh -huh. Good check point. Out, look at the police. Good point. Now, you laugh at it, and they make commentary on it. Idiot. At this uh, demonstration that we did yesterday, when they show somebody getting beat down by the police, right? They didn't show the police turn and run. They didn't show the police turn and run. But we know that that did happen, okay? Right. We also know that they did show the CIA and the Secret Service and President Bush in the street like this, but when he came by our area, they were <laughs> running. Right. Check right. that out. Good Good point. Point. Good point. We'll talk about this later. Black Power. Black Power. Black Power.